Good morning, Hawks. Here we are. Second favorite day of the week. Monday, Monday. Why? Because we get to do students of the week and other kind of good things here. Uh, let's see. Let's go over some things that are happening tomorrow. Tomorrow, brick and mortar students, seventh graders, you'll be taking your civics end of course exam. And eighth graders, you'll be taking your paper-based science exam. So remember, read each and every question carefully. Don't try to rush through these things. Sit back. Listen, remember what your teacher's been teaching you all year. You'll be doing fine. Sixth graders, again, congratulations. You're finished. And seventh and eighth brick and mortar students, when you're done today, you're done with all this testing as well. Well done, Hawks. Way to go. Right. My favorite thing, as I said, students of the week. So here we are from the Gold Stars team, Mrs. Paget's first period class. So listen up, Ms. Paget's class. Student of the week is... Paul Jones, Paul Jones, way to go, Paul. Come on down to the media center because Paul is a brick and mortar student, been with us all year long. From the Titans team, from Miss Barris's first period class, also another brick and mortar student, Evelyn Nong. Way to go, Evelyn. Come on down to the media center. From the seventh grade Supersonics, Miss Ogles class, Digital Academy student, so way to go. Dorian Thomas, way to go, Dorian. I hope you're watching this. You can't come down to the media center right now. Also from the seventh grade Starburst team from Mr. Kalishman's first period class, another digital student, Evan Floyd. Way to go, Evan. Hope you're watching. Moving on to the eighth grade Conkers team from Mrs. Yancey's first period class is Jada Brown. Way to go, Jada. Come on down to the media center because Jada's a brick and mortar student. And wrapping up things from the Elite Eights team, Mr. Mudra's first period class, another brick and mortar student, Ahmed Jadad. Way to go, Ahmed. Come on down to the media center. Our faculty staff person of the week this week is our own Mr. Duncan. Usually these uh, names and a little qualifier are submitted anonymously. This one didn't have a name, but it's easy to tell because the write-up about Mr. Duncan was how he helps the band out every single day by making sure the band instrument room is open because the uh, key fob on that one doesn't work. So we've got to use a key, a regular key key on there, but Ms. Barris doesn't even have to ask because Mr. Duncan always has it taken care of so students can get their instruments and into the band room without wasting any time. So thank you, Mr. Duncan, and thanks to everybody. Right then, today's animal is, as you can see, a West Indian manatee, very popular in, in numerous in Florida coastal waters. Um, manatees are just kind of fun. They don't hurt anybody. They eat grassy stuff. They move kind of slow. Actually, big fat things. When they want to and they start kicking that tail they can move like a big fat submarine through the water pretty quickly faster than a human most humans can swim uh unfortunately they're hard it's hard for them to get out of the way there's so many boats around and propellers and it's rare to see a large older manatee that doesn't have propeller scars on them and unfortunately there's been a large die-off in the indian river lagoon on the east coast they said because they don't have enough to eat my big question which was um a little Relating back to uh, Friday's animal, the great white shark is, you know, I'm really glad that great white sharks don't put manatees on their menu because it'd be kind of easy for them to catch. And I asked lots of people about that. And the best reason or answer I've, I've heard is that it's just too shallow. Our waters are, uh, you know, very shallow right off the coast. So great whites are mostly deep water predators, but um, I'm glad they haven't figured that out. So don't go telling great white sharks, hey, manatees are easy pickings because uh, I don't want them around the waters where I'm surfing and, and swimming a lot, all right? A cool little watch on Discovery Channel. Don't want to see one up close and personal. No, no. All right, remember, let's be kind always. It's the right thing to do. It makes us the kind of school everyone wants to attend, you know, bully-free, all that. So say kind words to others, not mean words. Let's be kind to our surroundings. Listen to and follow all directions from adults. No one asks you to do anything unreasonable. And finally, give someone a compliment during the day. When you receive a compliment, look that person in the eye and say, Thank you. Thank you, Riley. All right, let's have a marvelous Monday, Hawks. Ciao.